No, I would say that there's two. If, if you're LSU coming out of that game and you're looking for, for constructive criticism, one is the penalties. They had 10 penalties last night, and that's too many. Um, they, they even had a, a delay of game coming off of a false start. You had a delay of game coming off a dead ball penalty. I mean, that's, that's Les Miles' school of clock management, right? There was that flashback momentarily. Um, t- t- 10 is too many penalties. A- that absolutely has to get corrected. And the other was the red zone inefficiency. So the first two times they got in the red zone, they scored. The next four red zone trips combined six points. Two chip shot field goals, they missed a field goal, and they got stuffed on a fourth and goal from inside the five. So you've just got to be better in those scoring opportunities. That game last night could have easily been a 49 nothing type game if they convert inside the five, and they didn't in four of their six chances. So, yeah, I, I absolutely think that that's a valid criticism coming off of last night. Uh, as far as the Mississippi State game, something to keep in mind, um, obviously, you know, Nick Fitzgerald will have been the biggest test LSU faces at that point in the season. And then in those games, the last three years, LSU and State have been very close. Um, State, well, State beat LSU in Baton Rouge in 14, uh, 2015. State had his chance for a walk-off field goal. Kid missed it. I mean, it was a makeable kick. He just missed it at the gun. That would have beaten LSU. And then last year, LSU was winning comfortably, and State rallied in the fourth quarter. And Arden Key needed a strip sack at the end of the game to win that. State had the ball with a chance to go win it, and, and Key came away with a strip sack. Um, but the, the other interesting note about state the state game this year, Todd Grantham is the new Mississippi State defense coordinator. And he was at Louisville last year. And he, he built his defenses based on pressure with a, a, a couple of new starters on the offensive line for LSU. That kind of pressure. Uh, Louisville, be, because of the way LSU's defense played in that bowl game against Louisville and Lamar Jackson, this sort of went understated. But Louisville gave Danny Etling fits in that ball game. That was one of his least efficient games of, the, of his career. So it, it is worth noting and watching to see what Matt Canada, if he goes back and looks at that film and maybe what Louisville's defense did in that bowl game with Todd Grantham to, uh, to get Danny Etling off his mark to see if maybe some of that tries to, uh, he tries to replicate that in the Mississippi State game in a couple of weeks. Matt Mascona joins us from ESPN Radio in uh, Baton Rouge in New Orleans. Uh, took in, as we did uh, the rest of us, a 27 nothing shellacking by LSU over BYU. Uh, Matt, I appreciate the time. Uh, great breakdown. And, uh, boy, it'll be interesting to see if this uh, team can bring it uh, in the rest of the meaningful games this season. I'm looking forward to the game in Starkville in two weeks. I think that's going to tell us an awful lot. If they get past that, they should head to uh, they should head to Gainesville undefeated, which would be interesting. Okay, Matt, have a good one. Thanks, Mark.